way this day is going to play out, Aaron has some time to ride today, so we were going to figure on getting a, uh, a short ride in. He's got some time, he's got to be back. Now, but the neat thing is, <coughs> he's got a new camera, and I'm trying to learn about cameras and tripods and camera mounts. Some of the little decals we've done that panel for one. We've done the hugger. And every once in a while we get to park next to a stock bike. The biggest one that was this tail section. Boy, that the stock one was really like a uh, tongue sticking out of a dragon or something. I don't know. But this is definitely oh, has nice little upgrades that have cost almost no money. For all purposes, they're just labor. Polishing the exhaust, I think you can see how the exhaust came out. Got that titanium polishing thing down pretty well, relatively well. We've shared it, and one of the most popular videos we have out there is the polishing of the aluminum engine. So anyway, hey, we put it all out there. If you enjoy it, great. If you don't enjoy it, it really didn't cost you a penny, and you know where to delete. So Glenn gets to see his handiwork up close and personal for the first time. Feel it! Just feel it! Now I want you to take this to Vince, make him eat it. See Vince, this is this is your revenge. We're going to double the price of this job, whether you like it or not. How nice did they come out? Well they should! You're an expert now. you got to ride with a Valentino Rossi now. You can't ride with those Home Depot paint guys. <laughs> Come on. You know, even Joe Roselli would like that on his Umbria Gusta. Look at that. Yeah, you really have to do the whole thing. It, there's no touch ups. On silver, there's silver repaints. On black, you got an ink marker touch up, but not on silver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I finally realized why, we, you know, that bit when I was editing the video last night, bitchin' rides. We're gonna get you a get you a jacket, bitchin' rides, Kev dog. Just bitch. That looks great. No, they're nice. They're nice. I think. Take a picture. With you you got your camera. Send it to Vince. You know, the hell he won't see the video for four or five days. He'll see this. I'm not gonna edit this stuff for a, for a week, maybe. Yeah, get the reflection. Yeah, that's. Look at that, baby. Hey, you could take some pride in this now. You know, this is not Home Depot paint. This is really nice stuff. You can you, you can see your reflection in it. If you if you stand close to it, you can shave looking at it. Send it to Vince. Vince, the only thing we don't like about the whole thing is that tape. So we're gonna forgive you for that. Aaron and Glenn are both here, and I can tell a man is a serious biker when he brings his own banana on the ride to the potassium. What we're going to try to do, he's got a real high-tech camera, we're going to try to use in my uh, stuff, make a camera mount. Oh, the sound of the beautiful GS, oh my god, look at this beautiful bike. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went in the pond. I didn't know he's gonna ride this bike. I didn't know he's gonna ride this thing. He's got a whole.
Jose bike, I think. Now, listen to this. Check his curvy girls out. Check the curvy girls. Tell us what the curvy girls send you the right ones or the wrong ones. No, no. <laughs> he's loud. Oh, he's guilty. No. <laughs> You're running tubeless like I am. Yeah. Yeah, this is not a tubeless. Yeah, but it works. says unless you're Glenn <laughs> or bitch and rides <laughs> so listen here's a box of camera mounts let's see how creative you can be there is this is what you get for 40 bucks this right here I think is what you can use no this is where the GoPro it's got to have so basically I need the top it's got to have the there's stuff in there that that look I'll let me shut this up okay help yourself because I you know I'd like to get footage today where's your camera no, it comes apart. Take it apart. So we went to our, our dedicated $9 box of camera options. Let's see that camera. Give us the show and tell. This is 200 bucks. You get a free banana with a banana mount. <laughs> the bitch and rights banana mount. Can you mount that to your helmet? <laughs> you leave Joel on. I mean, you don't have the thing in, on your top of your helmet. Where's your helmet? Let's see if we could... Well, we might have an extra one. For, for nine bucks, I expect the moon here. More straps, more camera. If we got an extra one. Oh yeah, God, you could buy this whole thing for nine bucks. So what's the difference? That, my helmet, you have this thing you can snap the camera on, then just take it off and turn it backwards. So, this one, if you put on your handlebars, far enough out that you're not looking under your arm. Oh, yeah. Place up here that you can mount it. Right, you probably can mount it to the directional signals. Oh no, that'd be rubbery. That'd be that's bullshit. Let's see what else you got. You can mount it. You really could get that thing for the helmet. You know what it looks like, right? It's just a little. Up. But then you'd be shooting side. You could, mm, everything is going to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you know we got the thing to make it 90 degrees. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey look, I paid nine bucks for this. But that kills the, uh... So because Aaron's gonna ride his GS, I guess I'll take my GS. This is this is a problem when you have all these bikes to ride. Ah, oh, it goes to $500 camera. Oh, that's what I like about $40 cameras when they break. The worst you're out is 40 bucks. So the day turned out that we're gonna have a GS ride. Let's see, how'd you guys do? You made you made a camera mount from all the crap know I had. You want me to put a little slot tight on this and want it on no, 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 don't put any on the camera. But put a string on that camera if you can. No string? No string, okay. Three high, at the end of this ride, where'd my camera go? Have you seen that? <laughs> What's the IQ test for this guy? <laughs> Where's my camera? Yeah, you know, you put laces on shoes so they don't come off. See how it looks. Okay, don't the Loctite. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. It always gets complicated so quickly. Amazing. And Aaron opted not to get historic plates. Can you imagine? He decided, I like to pay the government. Ah, come on. Make a 
Rock's copy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to save you money, baby, so you can afford more expensive cameras. Don't worry, Glenn will make this. You turn a blinker on, the camera will fall off, hit me in the head. <laughs> it'll it'll be Kev Dog bitching rides all over again. <laughs> oh, God. Never, never. Oh, you got to tighten that up. You trust Uncle, Uncle Kev Dog here. He knows about cameras. And the last time I used this camera, I was at Perkins. I shut. I thought I shut the camera off, but I didn't. It recorded the whole ride home. I put it in the driveway. I put the helmet in the garage. The camera was still running. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It's called the IQ test for the Anard camera. See, I'm only concerned with. You know, it would even be even okay a piece of tape. So if this were to cut, this isn't going to come off. Maybe you'll fall off. <laughs> Maybe I'll fall off. Yeah, you're gonna get enough. Actually, when you you want to mount it so it's a little bit canted in, or you're gonna be taking pictures at a ditch. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Now, how can you get me this footage? Can you send it to me in an email, or or just just put it on your site and I'll copy your site. You can hide your banana in that case. Nobody will know. The banana high. So anyway, after after uh, too late to go for a ride now. <laughs> Wait, but we really did get, and we've been having fun with all these mounts. Forget that banana. That doesn't come for nine dollars. We still have that selfie. We got shoelaces. He thinks it's not going to come off. I'm thinking maybe it will. Extra straps. Extra memory cards. And it's nine bucks. Amazing. Okay, I think it's. Good. You know what, Glenn? It's probably one of the best looking cameras I've seen. I'm being honest with you. It's yeah. You don't even notice it's on there. Like what I always think is bad is when a cop, your cop pulls you over and he sees you got a camera running. You know, they beat the hell out of you like Rodney you King or something. What that is? <laughs> that looks good. Even then, I would. I, I'll be honest. You'd be hard pressed to know it's a camera. I mean, yeah. You could put it inside the blinkers or something. You know. What are we? You know, like Mission Impossible here. Now what? Come on, just mount through. No, no, you don't do Velcro something here. That mount that should go on your helmet. Right. Yeah. It goes on with Velcro. Uh -huh. With a sticky. Well, you buy the thing for nine bucks. Be a big spender. Let me go get my jacket. We're doing too much talking and not enough riding. That is nice. It's a GS kind of day. We're gonna see who can whose camera falls off first. Look at the oil cooler he's got on there. He's got more high performance than I do. I was thinking about scrapping that actually. I got the, I have the original, uh... Yeah, actually, what you could do is put the camera where the horn is, put the camera uh -huh. down here. Oh, on the, uh... Yeah, make a mount. Just get rid of one horn. The horns don't work on these things anyway. Oh, hmm? <laughs> you notice my horns? <laughs> You're right. It's a touring. We're going to go on a gentleman's ride today. We're going to go see the llamas at the llama farm. So I gotta... This is not a Jose ride. Well, you'll get to ride this later today. We'll get up by the llama farm. Aaron, I told you I got all those handlebars. Bob Nivola's got them up at his house. He's Glenn, he'll ride it later. He can decide. It's his. You, you got the easy pass to get on that. <laughs> We're not going anywhere you need easy. The llamas don't care if you have an easy pass or not. Okay, our rides are free. Our rides are free. We're free birds. Yeah, I could if I knew you were coming with this. Glenn, we could have switched the body work. We could yeah, I'll swap them to crankshaft. For... I got I guess if he plows into a tree, I'm in, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're useless.
Now, the way this day played out, and it was really nice with Aaron, we, we went for about a three-hour ride up to Hibernia, did a lot of back roading and through the back, you know, there are really some, some nice roads. I really enjoyed the ride. And we got to switch bikes. He got to ride my bike for part of the ride. I got to ride his. It's amazing. The bikes are very similar. And what it confirmed in my in my mind that I wanted to, uh, con to, to give Aaron my feedback was just how, what a good candidate his bike would be for a total restoration at some future time. There's nothing wrong with it now, but if he wanted to do anything to it, it's certainly worth it. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to sand this whole part down again and give it one more coat of clear. The reason being, I want to have these decals buried in one more coat of clear, so I may as well just put a whole coat of clear on a whole part. It's not that big of a deal to do it, but it's a super nice day for painting, super nice afternoon out there, and I think this will uh, just give us a little more leeway when we go to buff it out. As I want Vlad to pick it up later in the week. He's going to bring down his other track bike, which is the twin to the twin bodywork to this. We have the paint, and the paint is beautiful. This, if you could see this in real life, this silver is really a nice color. The color this reminds me of is the color of Joe Roselli's The Envy Augusta Wheels. It's a silver, but it's a, it's a very deep silver. It really, it doesn't have that, like, uh, Cuban jewelry look. It's got, it looks like a, like a Mercedes color. A nice quality look, but... And the object here is just to get enough clear on these parts. And I'll sand the whole rest of it. Get enough clear on it that when we go to buff it out, it'll just be just perfect. Now, <clears throat> all that's left here is to tack rag it down. We've got it totally sanded out, detailed. I'm really, I'm really thinking this extra step, Vlad will be very happy with. Put that extra little bit into everything we do here. Everything. Now well, we got a bit of a party going on next door. I hope they, I hope they like the smell of this paint. Yeah, I think Vlad's going to be happy with that. And hey, we had a great day with Aaron. Great day finishing up this, putting a little extra final touch on it. Oh, it's going to be nice. Vlad, you're a lucky guy. Hey, we're all lucky. What am I talking about? And Glenn, you're the luckiest one of all. Now that you know how to paint wheels, we'll never go hungry again. Hey, thanks for watching. Birds are out chirping. Hudson River's in distance. It really is just a fantastic day. It's about 72 degrees. Couldn't get any better. However, what do we have here? Oh, oh, oh it's the Larry DeTuri tribute bike completed. Yep. So all of those videos that Wendy has sent out of the paint job on this baby and and I mean there were some fantastic videos of the stellar paint job and even the job that was done to the seat to mimic the paint job I mean you just couldn't ask for a 
for a nicer compliment to a Kawasaki done up in racing green. And you couldn't ask for a better guy than Wendy. Unless, of course, we were talking about his wife, Karen, who's no guy. She's just the best. But anyway, here it is. Uh, it's not street legal yet. Um, when Larry passed, the title was, uh, was not found, but the, the bike was grandfathered to me. So you will be, man, this is beautiful. We will be uh, doing the right thing as far as Larry is concerned, getting it out on the road soon. It was going to be a track bike, and then Wendy painted it, and I don't really know many track bikes painted by Wendy. I mean, we call them track bikes because they make it to the track, and this one will be no exception, I assure you, but, um, yeah, man, just from front to back, and this baby is just fantastic. Um, it was done with about 60 bucks worth of paint. Yeah, we had to spring for an exhaust, but other than that, and uh, a clutch and a little starter gear, I mean, we're looking real good. Let's let's see if we can get a, a close up on these wheels. I mean, yeah, that's a drum brake, right, people? Have you seen those before? I'm sure you have. It's just been a while. And look at the tail section. Why don't we start it up? Why don't we start it up? Nah, I have to be honest, it's cold, so let's see what, what gives. Oh. Oh, okay. Listen to that. Um, it's obvious. We're gonna have to do a little fine tuning and really get this puppy out there. But when you got a day like today and you got this bike completed, all I can say is it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. And it's a good day to be alive. Wendy, thank you. Luciano, thank you. And Larry, we miss you, buddy. All right, take care.